Hey guys, Kelly Mitchell here from Ritual Massage and Body Work in Roscoe, Illinois. And once again, thank you for uh, just coming to my channel and checking it out. So um, today's kind of just like a, a chat with you. Um, there's been a lot on my mind that I've wanted to share about my business and my practice and you know what's kind of going on behind the scenes the direction um things that i'm doing because i am making quite a transition in my services right now and wanting being able to bring to the massage therapy industry so some of you might know that i i actually invested in a six month um apprenticeship with an instructor in Austin, Texas. And what I have been following him on YouTube and online, he's got a fairly large footprint on the internet. <clears throat> and that's how I found him. And for me, being a massage therapist, seeing someone who utilized and took advantage of social the way that he did, I said, Oh my gosh, like, this aligns so well with, you know, what I want to do in the industry, what I feel like I've, I haven't necessarily been able to do up to this point. Um, but also I was intrigued at being able to offer massage and body work in just a different way that, you know, helped my body, saved my hands and, you know, my aches and pains and things like that, because I've been doing this for you know, almost 13 years now. And, you know, I hurt, I ache. And, you know, honestly, it's it's hard for me to find a therapist that I like, and I feel like I want to go back to. Well, a lot of that has to do with my schedule right now, right? Like I watch a one-year-old during the day. I work at night. It's hard for me to actually get body work done in general, just because of the time crunch and, and my schedule. But other than that, it's, you know, hard when I do have the time, it's been difficult for me to find someone that I feel comfortable going back to that I feel like actually addresses my chronic pain. So with that being said, I felt like I really wanted to pivot in the sort of people I was helping and sort of like the ways that I was helping, right? So from here on out for like two and a half years, I've been you know, building my practice kind of on that like therapeutic massage relaxation basis, right? Your typical Western massage, sometimes deep tissue, things like that. And then with the realization that like, A, I want to do be able to stand out in my marketplace, in any marketplace, d despite of location, despite of where I practice, despite if I moved, you know, 10 hours away or across the country, despite of where I was, I wanted to be able to solidify myself into a category of one and really solidify myself into like doing something completely different than what you typically see when you think massage, you know, especially in the Western world. So that with my marketing brand, I'm always thinking like, what is that that sets me apart? And I knew from what I had seen, being taught um, with matte body work and no table, no nudity, no cream, no glide, no not like very different and unique from what you would typically see um, if you Google, you know, massage therapy. Um, it very much intrigued me and um, I had a little bit of hesitation though at the same time because like I feel like I always kind of shied away from focusing on chronic pain because to me that was very intimidating, right? Like knowing that people were coming to me because they had like long standing issues or things that like kept coming back like that. I felt like that was a lot of pressure on me as a therapist. And so I kind of just like avoided um, that direction for a long time. However, yeah, it was just like, knowing that I could make a bigger difference, give clients faster results, they wouldn't have to come in as much. And so for me, like my goal is not to, for you to have this revol revolving door in my practice, um, my goal isn't to just get you on the table as many times as possible. You know, if I could help you with one session and you're like, I'm good, like I feel like great, like I'm good for a while, like that, that's the goal for me, right? So yeah, I, went into this training thinking, you know what, I'm just kind of, kind of still learn about like different tools for the table. Right. But I quickly realized that I still felt limited in the tools that I was bringing 
and my ability to give clients results on a table. And that might sound weird because like you're thinking, well, what is a massage without a table? <laughs> it can be a lot of things, but the table is just like the westernized version. If you go to other countries like Thailand and, you know, overseas, like massage and body work looks completely different, but it's not, not normal for them, right? That's just what they know. So it's very much like a cultural thing too, but we've just um, romanticized um, this idea of massage on a table, um, undressing, um, nudity under a sheet and blanket, things like that, when body work is so, so, so much more than that. And that was enough to pique my interest to be like, you know what, I really want to dive into this more. And I have an instructor who is able to do that with me. But not only that, like he has built his practice and now his teaching, like he teaches basically the majority of his trainings are all online because he's utilized the power of digital when no one else in our space is doing anything like that. And so for me, with my kind of background in marketing and branding and um, building your presence and, you know, being everywhere without being anywhere, I was like, I understand. I understand the power of documenting and I know how how a huge of an impact it can have on not only your clients but like you as a practice and for me you know I've got someone who wants all the clients and be working all the time and feel like I'm burnt out just by trying to promote myself you know I want to work limited hours I want to work on the clients that I love that love me that that see results that are like basically just like begging me to work with them, right? Like help me, right? I need you. And the longer that I'm in this field and doing therapy is like, the more I just, I want the quality work. I want, I want my practice to feel good and I want it to feel aligned with, you know, my life and what I want, because if it's not that, then what am I doing? You know, what, what, why am I doing this? You know, if it's not fulfilling, for me, you know, if it's not fulfilling financially, emotionally, physically, you know, all those things, then, you know, I have to kind of take a step back and, and look at that as well. So I'm someone who, when I see something that is very intriguing to me, I just want to like dive right into it. So it was not long. It was basically after our first session two hours, we do it once a month over Zoom. He's got a client in his home office. I have a client, a model in my room at work working with me. And uh, it was after my first two hour session that I was kind of just in this like mind, like I was just, I kind of felt stuck and I kind of felt confused of like, I feel like this is hard to implement still with people on a table because I can't grasp the full effect of when they're still kind of like, under a blanket like they're still kind of like undressed but like not and I was like how, like what am I what 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 direction what what am I doing like where do I need to go and so I had to have this other conversation with him being like I kind of just want to go right to the mat like and that's the thing about me like if I see something that I like I go for it like right away I kind of just like dive right in and I was like, I don't know why I'm going to waste my time trying to work on this table when really the, like, not a table is my end goal. And so I went to Amazon, I bought the mats, I bought the yoga blankets, the bolsters, and just other things that I would need in my sessions to really help, help me work. And, um, so yeah, did that. And then I had my first training last week, full two hours with a client, full on mat session. So if you would like visualize um, mats in a gym or like, I think technically like they're tumbling mats. So like, they're like four by eight mats. So I put two in my room side by side and it took up like the entire room. So I quickly realized how small my room <laughs> is. Like I didn't have a lot of room outside of those mats to work, but that's okay. I, I don't really need it. Um, and so I was like, I just had the best time and my client like, he was able to stay clothed, you know, he just wore like workout shirt, shorts and a, and a shirt and maybe some socks. And that was comfortable because, you know, with matte body work, you don't have to be, you're, you, well, you can't be like, you can't take your clothes off. And that's, there was, there's a big upside to that and a, a lot of advantages to that from the client standpoint, but also from my standpoint, because A, 
they can literally walk into my room, lay down on the mat. I can give them a pillow and like, boom, we can start working, right? We don't have to take like an extra five minutes for them to like get undressed, get under a table, not to mention new clients who are already a little bit hesitant that they have to like undress and stuff like that. Like we're taking everything out of the, the equation when it comes to mat work, uh, mat body work. Um, number two, for me, it is, it gives me so much more accessibility to work. So say like, you know, a lot of people in my community lately have been reaching out to me to come do chair massage. And I'm like, Number one, I don't own a chair and I haven't in so long because I'm not like a fan of chair massage. I think it's just awkward for, for the, the therapist anyway. Like I don't work with a chair. So why am I going to like work on people on a chair? So I sold that a long time ago. And um, so a lot of times, you know, it required, I would be required to have like my own separate room where it can be quiet, where it can be dark. Uh, like away from things. And so with a mat, like you take out all those things. Like I don't need a quiet room. I don't need the lights to be off. If I went into a gym and was like, hey, do you wanna, you know, get some body work done? And someone said, yeah. Okay, lay down, cool. Like their clothes, they are, their muscles are loose, whatever. Like they don't, it doesn't have to be in a gym. But I'm just saying like my ability to do this work, I can do it on the drop of a dime and not need a quiet room with lights off and like candles and all those things that you normally would if you know someone wanted you to do like a chair massage for an event or like have a booth or something like that it's very easy um and so i have been getting really really good results and feedback from my clients i've only had a few do mat obviously actually just one do completely mat Otherwise, I'm utilizing some of those new techniques that I'm using on the table still, but my intake is a little bit different. So like say someone schedules an appointment and they say, um, you know, their main areas that they want worked on for the session are like upper back, neck, shoulders, back in general. They sit at a desk a lot, like things like that. Like the things that you would typically see in today's society is 90% of it's going to be upper back and neck pain all the time here here, here, right in between the shoulder blades, all of that's so common. And so my intake's just a little bit different. And so um, I just want them to know that it's not just like, like this, <laughs> right? A lot of times the massage is just kind of like this the whole time. And I'm like, I don't want to come out and say it's not that, but like the wording of what to expect for them is completely different. So with my client today, she's new, she's coming off Google, found me on Google and um, in her intake form that she filled out two days ago, she said that she really struggles with back, neck, shoulder issues, you know, chronic stuff, repetitive stuff. And I said, okay. So I gave her a call um, and she uh, we, we had a discussion for a few minutes and I told her that I utilize a combination of different techniques, uh, throughout her massage that include mobility, stretching, body work, massage, uh, things like that. Um, and it just gives, will give her better results in, in the form of like mobility and dec decreasing pain and things like that. And hopefully longer results. And all I said was, um, if you could come with a sports bra, and comfy shorts, uh, athletic shorts or something like that, that would be amazing. And, you know, at first I thought a lot of people would be so like put off by that because, you know, we typically know massages, like get naked under a blanket and a sheet, right? So she was like, oh yeah, I can totally do that. And I explained to her why I do that. And it wasn't weird to her at all. She was like, oh, I'd be happy to like, all clients care about is like if they're gonna get results. They could care less how you do it, what you do, if you have clothes on, whatever, all that stuff. So it's it's been fairly simple for me to kind of reroute the conversation in that way and and talk in more of in like results driven conversation versus like, oh, um, this is like massage, <laughs> right? So um yeah, so anyway, I've been really enjoying my time with Robert, um, with someone who is very, he just wants the best for people. He wants more people to know about this kind of body work, but also is very fluent in like social media marketing and marketing and branding. So then 
you know, he's helped me out in that area as well, which has been super, super helpful because sometimes I just don't have the time to do everything um, like that. As much as I love it, I, you know, I love doing things on Canva and, you know, wasting time just messing with stuff and putting up posts and content and stuff like that. But sometimes you just lack the time. So if you're curious, yes, I still do. I still offer work and massage on a table. I don't see that necessarily going away anytime soon. Um, but it's just that some of the tools and techniques that I'm bringing to my practice are definitely going to be different. Um, and one of the things that I have found that my clients and like the feedback that I'm getting simply just from the table, simply from like it not just being a relaxation massage and utilizing different mobility and stretching techniques and things like that is that they say it's almost feels a little bit like, um, like a physical therapy with massage, but like PT, obviously like you're doing the work, right? They're working, but they say like, it's a perfect blend of like, they're still able to relax and like come down and just like breathe through things and still get the benefits of like turning off the central nervous system but like it's a completely different feeling right when we start to decompress our bodies and um give it movement that it's not used to and I feel like so many times we just don't get that in a body work session and so yeah, that's been really the, the coolest thing for me to see as people respond positively to this new body work that I'm doing to, um, you know, documenting my work on social media and on, you know, I just, you know, started my YouTube. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but this was kind of just like that spark that's that made me just think, you know what, this is this is the time that you need to really harness the power of building your brand, especially now, right? Making this huge transition in my business. And it's prompted like, you know, ideas of where I want to be, which were completely different than where I wanted to be, say last year at this time, you know, while I was on maternity leave, but also just about to come back from maternity leave. So a lot of things have changed, but like, I'm very excited about where this business can go and the adaptability I feel like I'm going to be seeing with it you know the sky's the limit and like I said for so long my goal has been to take myself a little bit out of the equation from the like the therapist's point of view right like I said I, I don't want to be working all day every day that's not anyone's goal it's not anyone's goal to like kill their body doing massage and body work so for me it's important to like how do I work a limited amount of hours, but still make the money I want to make, still or work with the people I want to work with who right now are working professionals and entrepreneurs? And what's been happening lately through this work that I've been doing and through by like doing the mindset work and um, becoming good like with myself is like I'm attracting all of these people that I knew that I would love to work with, which is working professionals and entrepreneurs. And so, yeah, like, I have like four more months to go and like it's exciting to think about like where I'll be at the very end of all of this because it could look completely different than from where I was just two months ago and um you know I've I've gained traction on LinkedIn in just a short few months or, like reintroducing myself onto LinkedIn to all these working professionals and entrepreneurs and I've definitely gotten a lot of page insights people reaching out sending me messages asking me questions about my services um booking I've had a few bookings off of LinkedIn as well so really just trying to find that like platform where I'm really really gonna shine on and yeah just like keeping up this channel <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm still offering table work. I still enjoy work on a table, you know what I mean? And I have to meet people where they're at too, because I understand that like mat body work, people don't know about it. So like, you know, I can't just like completely stop offering table work. Although I feel like when people experience, uh, body work on the, on the floor, <laughs> which gives you like all the space in the world, you're not confined to like this box basically like you I I can do whatever I can do 
whatever, however, I can give you the pressure in like five different ways versus like two. And um, one last thing that I wanted to say before I hop off here is I kind of went in like a totally different direction than I was planning on going. But like I said, this was very just like impromptu. How am I feeling? Kind of getting these feelings off my chest. <clears throat> it helps me a lot to like talk, talk things out. One of the things that I've been hearing a lot actually as I've been doing this work is that um, it's a lot more communicative in the session, right? So normally when you think massage, people are coming in to relax, not talk, just kind of zone out. Um, that's where this work kind of differs because if I'm not careful and if I don't communicate, if my client doesn't communicate with me, if I'm not communicating with them, it can not feel great pretty quickly. Okay. Um, so for me, it's a lot slower than you would typically find in a massage where people are kind of doing like effleurage and gliding and things like that. My work tends to be a lot slower, but I'm able to find, locate and pinpoint things that I that people would typically just glide over. But that requires communication from the client too. And I always tell them that at the, at the very beginning is, is if something feels good, please tell me. If something is too much, if we've gone past that threshold, please tell me. Um, and then a lot of times I'm checking in what feels better. Does this way feel better? 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 Okay. So it's, I feel like people get so much better results when I'm communicating, asking them for their feet, for their feedback throughout. And it's not to say that you can't relax and we're going to be talking the whole time. It's just that it allows you to hone in and get super present with your own body and it's very intentional um and it's it's just a little bit slower than what you're probably used to um, when you're going for a massage but i feel like the best results are are gotten from this kind of work um so i'm excited to share more about what this map body work is um follow follow along with uh, you know on instagram on facebook on linkedin i'll leave my handles down below in the comment section but like feel free to to follow me because i document a lot of what i do i'm posting or planning my posts <laughs> like every all, almost every other day so um you guys will get to see my journey um for the next few months here and how my practice is evolving and things like that and how i'm evolving um and yeah just just stay tuned and then you know if you want to see more videos here let me know what kind of videos you want to see do you want to see frequently asked questions faqs do you want to see like more of like self-care how to's do you want to see like do you want to see me document my work like do you want to see more business stuff like what is it that you guys want to see because i'm here for you to gain some knowledge too, you know, whether you're a consumer of massage, whether you're a massage therapist yourself, I don't know. Um, but yes, big things coming, uh, big things coming to ritual massage and body work here in 2023. I'm ready for it. And, um, yeah, thank you for following me on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.